Hey and welcome to Not Only Hollywood. Today I'm going to review Cello from 2005. This is a South Korean horror movie. A female music teacher lives a normal life with her family. But then one day her whole life changes. And it turns out that the past isn't done with her. She has left a lot behind her that she tries to forget. But now the past has had enough and it's time for a showdown. But who or what is terrorizing her? And do we really care? The South Koreans can make crap movies if they first decide to do that. Cello is neither scary nor exciting. It's just a silly movie with a ridiculous story. It's just the same old story with a vengeful ghost from the past. To make this work, the movie has to have a likable protagonist and a story that's engaging. It also helps if the movie avoids all the horror cliches that you find in this genre. But Cello is just another lazy horror movie that never tries to be creative. The actors and characters are boring and the protagonist cries and complains all the time. She acts like an old hysterical woman. And the worst part? is that the actress who plays her is awful. She also has a face you want to punch, and her acting is as stiff as a log. It's not just her. Most of the actors in the movie are a bunch of stiff logs. The editing is rubbish, so is the story. Fortunately for all movie lovers, they have never allowed the director to make more movies after Cello. Thank God for that. Cello has nothing new to offer. It's not fun to follow a protagonist you hate with a dysfunctional family. The ending is easy to understand. This story has been told so many times before and so much better. Cello is a crap movie. If someone tells you that this movie is a good horror movie, they are lying. It's a movie that made me laugh out loud at all the bad jump scares and the shit story that will make you want to throw up. From 1 to 10 I give Cello a 1 out of 10. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Sleep well.